all right guys welcome back to the channel um today i actually just wanted to show you guys a speed build of my beginner base that i've made in valheim so i actually just did a first look video on this game if you missed that make sure you go check that out i will link it as a card somewhere on this video but i just want to show you guys i was in between kind of building a starter base this is where it is um I know the maps are procedurally generated, but I actually, I just really love this spot. It's near the shore. Um, it's just a nice area with food and not too many bad guys and stuff like that. So as you can see, I already started part of the base, but it takes so long for me to build and actually like fit angle things that I thought I would just kind of speed things up and you can see the way I place walls and roofs and everything else like that. Um, and also, I just want to show you guys, one of my favorite things is to hit two or more trees at once. You can sort of try to line things up and then you just let them hit each other and it will cascade and you can get a lot of wood pretty quickly if you plan it out right. Like, just watch out because they can kill you. <laughs> they can squish you. If, you. if you hark back into the days of early seven days to die when a tree actually could fall on your head and kill you. Uh, yeah, that was fun. So they kind of brought that back. And then you hit two at once. And after it's already taken damage from being hit by other logs, it's pretty quick. So here's where I am kind of speeding up my building just to kind of make things a lot easier. I You'll see that I use ladders um, to get higher up. I use stairs to to reach higher spots and to be able to complete the roof and everything like that. Um, I just didn't show you guys the beginning part of this because I had to get enough over the workbench. You have to have your workbench um, covered or at least a little bit um, concealed so that you can build. And I could have built one outside, but I just put it inside my house. So yeah, you'll see me tear things down a lot and misplace things a lot. And the nice thing is, is if you use your hammer and click the middle mouse button, you will get all the resources back. So I'm not actually wasting anything when I do that. And I really like that um, because I'm not, I'm not, not only am I not wasting things, but it's just saving me a ton of time. So yeah, and I used actually on my, on my front door, that's actually gate doors. It's not the regular, like, I felt like the regular door was just tiny. Um, so I used the, I actually used the big gates. And it takes a little bit. And you'll see that sometimes, like, they flash yellow or, or different colors. Once I actually close up this place, the roof does count. The storm doesn't damage it. Um, so you'll see, once it's actually, like, all sealed up, it works out really well. And I've had this base now for several episodes and the live stream it's never come crashing down it's been fine so this i'm pretty sure i can safely say it's a solid design it's been all right see even if it flashes red it's not like other games where it won't let you place it so i'm not i know that that actually is just trying to show you that it wouldn't be stable but by the time you get all together it's fine it still lets you place it So I did have to actually move my workbench to put floor pieces down underneath it. Once I once I actually got the rest of the floor together, I moved the workbench over into the corner. That's the workbench upgrade so that you can craft tier two things or upgrade tier two things. And you can't put a campfire on the floor piece, so I had to take one up and put the campfire down.
So I did, after the fact, decide to put a fence all around this entire place because I wanted to protect it from enemies coming and calling at the walls and stuff. Um, it's not too bad. The only thing is, is to make it square, if you go outside the workbench area, you can place outside of it. See, you just have to be in the circle. Alright, so what I wanted to show you guys was actually like a speed build of my first base. However, I jumped right into a live stream shortly afterwards and ended up changing my base around a little bit and progressing without actually giving you guys a last or final tour. So you've now seen how I built it. I just wanted to show you guys basically uh, the end result of this. Of course, like this wasn't here when I started. I didn't have as many of these. Uh, and a couple other things, but it's mainly genuinely stayed the same. Um, I'm actually about to tear all this down and rebuild like a huge village. I stockpiled a bunch of wood, so make sure you subscribe if you already have it. Uh, you guys can see another base build video shortly. As you can see, I have the smoke venting. It vents very well with this design. One thing that I didn't know till someone actually told me about it is that you can get injured and die from smoke inhalation. Um, so you want to make sure that you either A, don't put too many campfires in your first base, if it's small, especially, I guess, uh, I, I, I guess this is considered fairly a bit big of a first base, I don't know, at least that's what people tell me during my live stream. But this is what I wanted, I wanted to make sure there was space for other people to join me and play and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, apparently you can... You can take damage and die from smoke inhalation, which I didn't know. And actually, I did level this area pretty good. And I got a whole big fence around here. Um, so you won't see this leveled, I don't think, in my live stream just yet. But I have done it. And I'm about to redo all of this fence. But yeah, this is my base build just my very first one i built like a basic house as you can see i used the ladders and stuff to actually climb up and get a little bit higher to build the roof and i really like it probably one of the best storage tips i got from my live stream is to put floor pieces one up from where your workbench and stuff is and just put storage containers there that to me has been probably one of my best space hacks that someone had told me during a live stream and also another tip from Luke actually that I copied is I didn't realize this you can put more than one cooking station over your campfire as well so now I can cook six things at once versus just the two so I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of Valheim videos I have really I've really sunk in a lot of time into this lately. I will still do seven days to die, I promise. And the reason why I took my clothes off right now and stuff is because I don't want to spoil too much for future videos since I am coming after the fact to show you guys this building. Um, so I took, off, I took off the stuff that I had made. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Uh, hopefully this was helpful even though I did speed up the time. It took me a few hours to actually get all the resources and build this and get everything working and I had to take a lot down and rebuild a lot. The nice thing about it is when you take something down you do get all the wood back. You do get all the resources back as far as I've seen so you you have it's more forgiving than other survival games as far as experimenting and trying to build things. You don't have to worry as much like I can try something and use up 50 wood and then if I realize I don't like it I can just tear it down all you do is you take the hammer and my middle mouse button I click it and it'll just destroy what I've built uh, and it'll give it back to me so that I can do that and yeah I use these little stairs and ladders to gain height to to get up there and build and then I can take them down and I get the wood back so I'm not not wasting anything which is nice so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and checking this out I will see you guys in the next one.